10 Extremely Important Things That Were Invented by Women The majority of world leaders, philosophers, and inventors have been men throughout history. However, many of the things we enjoy today were actually developed by women. Women's inventions have made significant contributions to our way of life and shaped the course of human history, whether these items are fun or absolutely essential to our day-to-day -day lives. Sitting back and contemplating the collective conscious thought that has been humanity as a whole as well as the contributions that particular individuals have made to it is awe-inspiring. Here are 10 extremely significant inventions made by women. 10. The Electric Refrigerator Iceboxes were the usual way to keep food cold and fresh before the refrigerator was invented. They kept food away from microscopic life that contained it and make us sick and kept it at the right temperature. Coolers were racking units into which snow was pressed throughout the cold weather months. In order to keep your food cold, you had to gruelingly gather ice on multiple occasions. However, that all changed when Florence Parpert went onto the scene. We don't know much about Parpert other than some census data from the US government. However, we do possess the patent records that demonstrate that she developed the refrigerator. Can anyone explain this? Electricity. She expected to plan an approach to really run an electric circuit through the fridge to keep it cool. And what could maintain the cool? Gas. Coolers work by transforming different fluids into gases, like Freon. They radiate heat away from the food when they expand into their gaseous state. The key to making this work is to create a circuit in which the gas is absorbed and expanded in various compartments so that the liquid does not completely absorb and need to be refilled. The term refrigerant refers to these liquids. So next time you go after that piece of holy person Andre Cheddar, you can say thanks to Florence Parpert for her significant commitment to our reality. 9. The First Treatment for Leprosy Since the time of the original Holy Bible, leprosy has been mentioned as a disease that causes skin to turn a certain color. It has afflicted humanity for nearly all of its existence. The skin, brain, mucous membranes, eyes, mouth, and nose are all infected by it. The disease of leprosy is extremely difficult to treat. However, the disease has been contained for many people and some outbreaks have been stopped. We can give the first effective treatment for leprosy to a woman named Alice Ball, who devised the method of administration. Chalmukra oil, which was made by extracting the seeds of a tree, was only marginally effective at the time, and eating it would make you feel sick. The oil wouldn't spread evenly throughout the skin when injected. Instead, it would only cover a portion of the disease rather than the entire illness. This was completely pointless. Ball, a chemist, developed a method for isolating the fatty acids that prevented the chalmukra oil from spreading properly. She made the principal injectable form that finished the work. 8. Windshield Wipers Windshield wipers have made it easier for drivers to stay safe and clearly see the road ahead, no matter where it is raining. All of this is due to Mary Anderson's invention of them. On November 10, 1903, Anderson recorded the patent for a gadget that came to the external windows from inside the vehicle and cleaned the glass in downpour or snow. During the winter of 1902, as she was watching trolley cars pass, it struck her. She came to the realization that in snowy weather, drivers needed to look out the windows of their vehicles in order to stay safe on the roads. The windshield wiper idea was born as a result. 3. Mary Anderson received a patent, but not everything was perfect. She attempted to pitch her concept to businesses, particularly a Canadian company. In any case, she was informed that her creation was pointless. She actually never received any money from her creation. In 1903, she received a patent for 17 years. 1920 marked its end. 
However, as more people drove cars and the automobile industry in the United States grew, windshield wipers became an essential part of driving everywhere. 7. The One-Handed Syringe The historical backdrop of clinical developments has been overflowing with experimentation, which implied outright frightfulness or salvation in the desperate of a patient in rough shape. Letitia Mumford Gear filed the first application for a patent on the one-handed syringe on February 12, 1896. Over the course of many centuries, numerous attempts to create the syringe we know and love failed. For, in fact, numerous different needles preceded this, however none were basically as valuable as the one gave model. It was simple to use for doctors and patients alike, including diabetics who needed to take their own insulin. In spite of the fact that Gear's development has been changed to turn into the dispensable needle of today, her model assisted with molding the future by the way we get things into and out of our bodies. 6. COBOL Normal business situated language, COBOL, is a coding which outgrew the 1959 Gathering on Information Frameworks dialects. Grace Hopper, a U.S. Navy admiral who also developed numerous computer-related information technologies, is credited with inventing it. Hopper was a key contributor to the creation of COBOL, which was implemented by the Department of Defense and private businesses with a very specific goal, universality. The objective was to develop a computer language that could be used on a wide range of hardware systems that typically communicated in a variety of languages. COBOL turned into the arrangement, a language that was effectively movable between producers. In addition, computers had no trouble reading it. Although COBOL was mostly phased out by the 1990s, it was the language that initially made it easy for computers from different manufacturers to communicate with one another. Until better, more up-to-date models replaced COBOL, it was the foundation of computing systems for decades. 5. Wi-Fi Hedy Lamarr, an actress, was praised for her intelligence as well as her beauty. She had come to America to get away from Nazi Germany and fabricate another life. Lamar was destined for stardom, and he would perform alongside some of the most famous people and performers in Hollywood at the time. However, prior to her success in the United States, Lamar collaborated with a composer on the design of a device that would alleviate signal problems in telecommunications during World War II. This plan became key in a great deal of advances, including Wi-Fi. In order to combat the Nazis, Lamar's frequency hopping technology was provided for free. Be that as it may, throughout the long term, she watched it become the reason for PDA innovation and a lot of different things. Sadly, despite holding the patent, she never received any compensation for her invention. In any case, her endeavors probably saved many lives during the war. 6. She at long last gained some appreciation for her development around 50 years not too far off with an honor. Lamar spent the rest of her life in the United States, where she passed away at the age of 86. For Chocolate Chip Cookies Each individual partaking in a chocolate chip treat can say thanks to one individual, Ruth Graves Wakefield, for assembling it one day. The fact that everything happened by accident is the best part. Ruth wanted to make a batch of chocolate butter drop cookies one day in 1930. When she realized she didn't have enough baker's chocolate, she went to put it in the cookies she had made. She then took a regular chocolate bar, cut it into pieces, and put them in the cookies. She hoped that when they baked, the chocolate would spread evenly. She was completely mistaken. Yet, the treats ended up being a hit at any rate. She taught classes on fine food preparation at the Toll House Inn. Toll House chocolate chip cookies were born, and they quickly gained a following of fans who adored them. Enjoy! 3. Computer Software PC programming was designed by a lady. Yes. Every last bit of it. 
Ada Lovelace was born Augusta Ada Byron, the poet Lord Byron's daughter, in England. Therefore, it is safe to say that she was not exactly born into poverty and was fortunate enough to have access to a private education. Later, she devised a method for teaching the analytical engine, the first computer, to calculate particular kinds of numbers. Also, in this way program was conceived. The principal known code was designated Ada after Ada Lovelace, today still being used in many regards. The fundamentals of Ada are still in use in some programs today, despite its adaptation. 2. Electric Water Heater Within the next few days, chances are good that you'll take a nice, enjoyable, hot shower. The technology that made it all possible was invented in 1917 when Ida Forbes was officially awarded the patent for the first electric water heater. To this day, she's still being thanked in advertisements and even on products with her original design on them. That's how important hot showers are to us. Electric water heaters went through years of manufacturing to become the staple product we know today, from small, portable models to mid-sized closet units to massive models for larger accommodations. In most developed nations, almost all water that isn't used for cooking is heated with a descendant of one of these units. Did you just get finished with a daily workout, or perhaps you're going out to grab some sushi and are in need of a shower? Thank Ida Forbes for the invention that helped make sure that shower wasn't a cold one. 1. Beer Brew has had a long, peculiar, and intriguing history. Yet, whether you lean toward an IPA or a delectably dull heavy, the long cycle that idealized that brew in your cup was initially done by ladies. While it is generally accepted that attempts to make bread more than 10,000 years ago led to the invention of beer, the Fertile Crescent around 7,000 to 9,000 years ago produced beers that were made with intent. According to historians, women probably handled every aspect of the beer making and crafting process. In point of fact, it wasn't until Christianity emerged in the medieval and modern eras that men began making beer, typically as monks who decided to survive for months on beer alone. However, through the ages, the recipes were developed and perfected by ostensibly anonymous women who laboriously produced the finest beer for their communities. This appears to be legit, thinking about that work was split between the genders for quite a long time in many societies. So present yourself with a fine EPA, appreciate it, and envision the innumerable long stretches of exertion and business venture which have gone into making that ideal beverage only for you. This is a fun little book about really cool things that were invented by women throughout history. I like to write about dark subjects and history. Attempting to ease up things up prior to returning to chronic executioners, consequently Diogenes, this, and books. If you love this video, please subscribe to the channel to receive the earliest notification of the next videos, click the like and share button to spread this video to everyone. And please take a look at the video description to support us. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.